Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> Happy Monday. It is about 9.30 right now and I have a lot to do today so I'm going to be bringing you along with me and I have a lot to do not only today but this entire week so I'm going to be taking you guys through a weekly vlog. Honestly, I love these videos. I love watching these types of videos and I used to do them quite often. I just haven't recently but i'm gonna get back to it so if you are new here hi my name is kayla thank you so much for being here make sure you subscribe to me down below if you haven't already if not welcome back my hair is a tiny bit greasy honestly so i put it in a claw clip i just bought this from garage they're so expensive literally nine dollars for this clip outrageous and I'm honestly just wearing all black today so these leggings are from Jen North and then this black top honestly is probably from like Urban Planet or Sirens or something like that you cannot tell because it looks sunny outside but honestly it is freaking freezing I walked Kobe this morning and it's like one degree so honestly not excited about that speaking of Kobe here's the little man hi baby how are you he is very fluffy as you can tell I've been joking because he actually has an afro like look at this thing and the sides of his mouth and just can I have pot <laughs> he's like uh no because I know where I'm going today where are you going today Kobe are you going to see ginger are you getting a haircut are you going to see Ginger? He has been so funny this morning because we've been telling him since yesterday that he's going to the groomers and getting a haircut. He knows his groomer Ginger. So when we say her name, he's like, what? But he is extra fluffy right now. Like we've been bringing him to our family and they're like, is he gaining weight? And I'm like, no, he weighs the same. It's just all of this hair on his body. You want the ball? Go get it. Boy, good boy. And he puts it right in my hand. He's so nice. Good boy. So Kobe already went for his walk this morning. He already ate his food. So we got to start heading out soon. His appointment is at 11 a.m. Usually he gets groomed every like six weeks, but now we're pushing eight weeks. So that's why he's really fluffy. But I know he's going to hate it once all of his hair is gone because it is so cold outside. Pa? Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, bud. High five. High five. Oh, thank you. Before we go, I do want to brush him. So I am just using this brush and it has like, it's pretty prickly, honestly. So sometimes he gets annoyed if he has like knots or tangles in his hair. But if you are interested, I will link this down below. It's literally just from Amazon. We try to brush him honestly daily, but sometimes we forget. So I would say pretty much like every other day. When he first gets his hair cut, I really don't need to brush him much because there's really nothing there. But when he's pushing like needing a haircut, like how he is now which is beyond needing a haircut i try and do it daily if not multiple times a day just because his hair is pretty wavy as you guys can see so it does get you know knotted if you guys remember my initial videos with kobe he would not let me brush his hair so we have come a long long way i honestly think he likes it now okay we're pretty much done he is a big fluff ball right now as you can see and he is so much more white like i think after this haircut he's gonna be pretty much like a really white dog if you guys remember when he was little he was so golden when you were just a baby kobe you were just a baby. Are you ready to go for your haircut? Let's go. Come in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Kobe. So he's in his like little seatbelt thing. We bought the seatbelt for Kobe a really long time ago. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys it before, but we're using it a lot more lately because he is just crazy. He will come on my lap and he's everywhere. He doesn't give me any space to breathe. He jumps on Alan while he's driving. So we're using that from now on. He's pretty good for the most part. When we first get in the car, he's like, what the heck? Like, why are you guys doing this to me? But then as the car ride goes on, he gets better. Kobe. Okay. He's so, so confused. Like, he's, so, he's so stressed. Yeah. Kobe, you going to see Ginger? Did Ginger just come? You gonna go get a haircut with Ginger, okay? Love you. You be Love good boy. You. So usually Kobe's like grooming appointments, pretty much he's there for the entire day. It doesn't take that long, but she just has other people and we're not really in a rush. So we're actually gonna head to my office and we're gonna clean it because it is a mess. I have so much papers and boxes and 
so much going on there. I want to clean it up. So Alan is going to come help me at my office now. And I'm literally already so dirty. I don't know if you guys can see. We've been cleaning for probably like an hour already. I'm in my warehouse and I'm just getting rid of a ton of paperwork. So basically anything that is over seven years old of paperwork, it was all up here in my warehouse of my shop. So we brought it all down and I'm going to bring it to shred. I've been going through a ton of paperwork that was like in binders. We're going to bring that for shredding. And I'm like throwing these binders out right now i don't want to show you guys too much of my shop because i don't want to show you guys like my company name and all of that stuff but if you guys have been following along i have a drain business it was my mom's business we do it seasonals for six months out of the year it is the end of the season for us so i'm just doing a super duper deep clean of literally everything so what i'm doing is we actually have a garbage bin just in the back of our shop so i'm throwing everything in there and wearing gloves because i don't want to get too dirty but like honestly look at my pants already i don't know if you guys can tell in the camera but they're so dirty and even my shoes are so dirty. Oh, look at the haircut. Hi, baby. Look at this haircut. You're so short now. Your hair is so short. Your ears look good. Your face looks good. We can see your eyes again. Look at your body. So good boy. Giving me your paw. Good boy. <clears throat> he literally looks like he lost like 10 pounds of all hair. Good boy. Look, what's this? What's this? Lots of boxes, lots of packages to open with you guys. I just got back from the gym, if you can tell. But before I go shower, I did get two packages from Amazon I wanted to share with you guys because I did buy a bunch of things for my kitchen that I'm really excited about, so I want to show you them. I don't know what is in what box. So Alan and I have been talking about getting a toaster like on and off for quite some time because the toaster we have right now, honestly, I just, I hate it. Something is always burning and don't come for me. I clean that toaster like every, once every two weeks, maybe even once a week. Like I'm always taking all the crumbs and everything out and it's just... I just, I, I, I'm not a fan of it. I don't know why. So we decided to go for a little bit more of an expensive toaster. So we got this Cuisinart. It's a four slice. Pretty much everything in our kitchen is silver. So we got that to match. Super excited. Probably going to plug this in and use that at some point today. So second thing I got was a new cutting board. The one that I have was pretty old and just like stained and honestly like it was like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was like bent and it would, every time I would cut on it, it would just go like, I don't know. It was really annoying. So I bought this one from Farber Wear. I just wanted a white one that was like dishwasher friendly or safe. This I am so freaking excited for. I bought this mandolin vegetable chopper. I have wanted something like this for so stinking long because I'm so tired of cutting, especially onions and I literally ball my eyes out, my eyes burn, and I can't see anything. So I got this one, and it comes with a lot. So we're getting a grater, a julienne, a dicer, large, dicer, small, mandolin, and then it has different like settings. I don't know. So five interchangeable blades. There's a thumb dial to control your slice thickness. The container itself is 1.5 liters. So literally, if you're doing like chili or you're cutting up a crap ton of vegetables, like you can just do it all at once and it's gonna be so quick I'm doing a lot more meal prepping right now so cutting vegetables up is very time-consuming it's really easy it's just super time-consuming so this is gonna save me a lot of time and then the other thing that I got are these 12 pack of glass tall juice bottles I don't know why lately I have been on a smoothie binge I'm really loving smoothies I feel like it's such a quick easy way to get in a lot of micronutrients to get my carbs in to get protein in and honestly just like drinking liquid sometimes especially when you're busy is so much easier so these are what they look like they are so nice so each bottle is 16 ounces or 475 milliliters and then it has a black lid so basically my thought process was I can use this for smoothies so I can take smoothies on the go instead of putting it in like one of my Gila mixes or whatever I feel like the glass jar will keep it colder for longer and honestly it just looks cuter I like the look of it I was also thinking I could use this for like overnight oatmeal or honestly anything so pack of 12 I probably don't need 12 I was looking for like four or six but honestly I couldn't find anything I liked or wanted so I just went ahead with this I'm super excited to put all of these things in my kitchen if you guys are interested I will link all of these products below in the description box just took the 
the plastic and stickers off of the cutting board so I am just gonna put it in here so under my sink I have this drawer that's where I keep all like my cutting boards my pots my pans that kind of stuff I'm just gonna take this toaster out to show you guys so this is what the toaster looks like so like I said it's a four slice and then you push down here obviously and then on the side it has bagel defrost reheat cancel and then you just turn the little knob for whatever number you want so however you know toasted you want it this is what the inside looks like looks very classy and clean and honestly there was a ton of reviews on this one so that's why we went with it and just spent a little bit more money it literally fits in perfectly with everything so as you can see like we have a Keurig it's black with silver and then this is silver with black our blender is black and silver so everything goes good this is all silver so like it love it just showered and honestly i'm so hungry and i'm gonna make my infamous turkey egg sandwich but i wanted to show you the like toasting with the new toaster first time using it and it was definitely a success i used mode number three and i pressed bagel and it turned out pretty good so that is what I am doing right now. My egg and cheese is cooking. I got my turkey ready there. You guys have seen this a couple times, but final product, so good. Happy Thursday, guys. I have another package, two packages actually, to show you guys. I wasn't planning on doing this today with you because I was supposed to be getting my first spray tan ever, but the girl had to cancel. We do have to reschedule for next week. She had her grand opening yesterday and everything was just too chaotic. She's doing it for free for me, um, just so that I can help her promote her brand. She is local to me. So that is that. I was gonna take you guys through that whole experience with me because I've never got a spray tan before. But in the meantime, I just received two packages, one from See You Sunday and the other one from Women's Best. The package from See You Sunday, if you don't know what it is, it is a face tan water, which is so hilarious because I did buy this like two weeks ago before I was even doing this whole spray tan thing. So the fact that it got canceled and then the package came today is just hilarious. And basically it's just like a water that you spritz on your face after you cleanse and you moisturize and it tans your face. It's made with high hyaluronic acid I hate that word it is so hard to say as well as aloe vera I think I'm honestly gonna use this today because your girl is pale I no longer have that Dubai glow especially on my face that I did for my honeymoon so we're gonna use this and see how it actually works. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Women's Best. They are not sponsoring this video. They're not asking me to do this. They did send me these products because I am doing a brand collaboration with them on Instagram and TikTok, which is extremely, extremely exciting. But they're not paying me to do this on YouTube. I just figured I got the stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys anyways. So they basically sent me three outfits, so three sports bras with matching leggings as well they sent me this amino and energy drink it is 30 servings of watermelon flavor so this is kind of like essential amino acids and basically it says it's an energy support so this is definitely something I would drink like during workouts as like an intro workout drink with like water starting with the first outfit this is the power set in the color walnut brown this color is like chef's kiss i love it so much so i'm wearing a size small in the bra and a size medium in the leggings now for the sports bra it is a scoop neck and it does have a little bit of a ribbed effect on the under boob and it has the women's best logo on the left side in terms of the back it is very crisscrossy and a lot going on it is super cute as for the leggings i'm a tall gal you guys know this so it does fit me more cropped as you can see here there's a lot of contour and detailing going around and under the boob Booty. And like the under breast part, the waistband is actually ribbed also, but it is so comfy. Like I literally can do anything in it. So versatile and comfy and just breathable. Now I did get the power set in another color. It is forest green and I'm telling you, I am so obsessed with the colorways that they sent me. Like look how nice this is. If I was a little bit darker or a little bit more tanned. Woo. If you are curious about the material, it is 90% nylon and 10% elastane. And honestly, it is so friggin' soft. Like, everything just feels so buttery. Oh! <laughs> commercial break be like. Okay, last but not least, if they would let me show you guys, this is the last set. 
They're so cute. As I was saying, this is the third set. So this is the Move Seamless Collection. Again, bra is in a size small, leggings size medium. Honestly, this is the stretchiest material ever, even more so than the first two. So this is 45% polyester, 45% nylon, 10% elastane. You know, sometimes when you're putting leggings on like around your feet, you really have to yank it. This literally stretched so much. So I love that. This is in the blue marl color. Super nice and flattering, honestly. This is what the back of the sports bra looks like. It has this big like keyhole in the middle, which is kind of cool. And then the top is like almost like a racer neck. The leggings are seamless, so no seams anywhere, which I sometimes have a love-hate relationship with, but like this... I feel like a Power Ranger in this. I quickly just made the amino and energy drink just to try it. As you can see, I'm doubting it. It is so good. It smells like so much watermelon and it tastes like watermelon it doesn't taste too sweet which usually i find happens with stuff like this so i actually really like this also it's so aesthetically pleasing it's like this light pink color with my new glass wear and my new glass straws so aesthetic i love it love it come here hi buddy you're being a little bit of a pest this morning huh you're gonna go to the doctors you gotta get your Yearly shots. We actually do have to get going because his appointment's in like 20 minutes, but for some reason he did not want to eat this morning. As you can see, his food is still there. So I'm just gonna pack it back away and that's it. He knows he's gonna go see the vet. All right, buddy? Holy, somebody's excited. Sit, sit. Oh my God, don't worry. I'm not leaving without you. Mommy's coming with you. This guy is like freaking out right now, but we just got here. We're at the BD hospital. That's the vet that he goes to. If I remember correctly, I think he's just getting his Bordetella shot, but I will keep you guys updated. I don't think... <laughs> Hello. I don't think I can bring the camera in just because it's it's too much, but, but I will try to take some videos on my phone. Puppy, good boy. We're gonna go to doctor? We're gonna go? Come in. Good boy. So this is the room that we're in, just the exam room. We're already done, literally. We're in and out within like 15 minutes. They were super fast. So basically they just weighed him. So right now he weighs 20 pounds still. I swear to God, he's been 20 pounds for like a year, a year and a half. So he's definitely on the smaller end, but still healthy. They checked his vitals. They checked his limbs, his teeth. Everything is really good. So he did only get his Bordetella shot. So usually he actually gets it done orally. So like an oral pill or something like that. I can't remember because it was last year, the last time we did it. But the vet said it's actually on back order, so he had to get it actually injected. So they put it in his butt, but like he's good, he's happy. He was like running around, he was chasing around the other dog. So all is good, and we are going home now. Are you happy? We're gonna go home now? Oh, I love the head tilt. Good boy, you're gonna get treat when we get home. You are so good boy.